Welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. So I am going to do a vlog today. Um, I've got a couple <coughs> of cities that I'm going to visit. Normally, I have Fifi with me whenever I go to these places. So today I'm going solo. I've got my um, addresses written down in my little book here and I'm just going to put them in my maps and let the maps tell me where to go because I am the worst ever on driving and that crystal just keeps getting in the way. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix this. I'm just the worst. I, I just, uh, I'm really bad with directions. So yeah, that's what maps are for, right? On your phone. Uh, that's how I got to North Carolina to pick up my son was with the maps. So if I got there, I can get anywhere. Um, so anyway, it makes me a little bit anxious to drive on the interstate now ever since I went to get him and had the panic attack. So yeah, I'm a little bit anxious. Um, yeah, so but that's okay because I'm a big girl and I can do this. Uh, so I'm going to get here, uh, gas here at GoMart before I leave. The price of gas is making me so mad. Like every time I look at the gas thing, it is more and more expensive. It just really ticks me off. Four fifty-five for a gallon. Last time I looked, it was four forty-five. I don't want to be in the sun, but I guess I'm going to have to. Um, so yeah, four fifty-five a gallon. Gag me with a spoon, okay? I just can't. I just can't deal with that. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna pause this until I get out. Um, actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, end this segment because I'm gonna pump my gas and then I'm gonna put my coordinates in on where I'm going um, and then get on the road whenever I get the out of the um, Dollar Trees. I'm going to show you my favorite items that I found in there. I always like to do that. Just kind of give you a sneak peek. I'll be taking tons of pictures today for Instagram and tick. Well, not TikTok necessarily. Tons of pictures for Instagram. Um, so if you're not following me, it's Twisted Gypsy 32 on Instagram and TikTok. And like, I'm just going to have a good day. I am doing the whole 30. So I'll just be drinking water today. I've done had my black coffee. Um, so I'm going to get out, pump my gas. And I will see you after, probably after my first Dollar Tree stop. So I'll see you then. Okay, guys, so I made it to my first destination. Um, at first, I couldn't get my map thing to actually... Well, crap. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, so um, I don't even know. Oh, yeah, I couldn't get my maps to work to actually tell me what to do. So I came to Princeton because I knew the way to Princeton. So I had to pull over in a gas station and then it started working right. So I was only four minutes away. So that's good. I made it to my first destination. Um, wow, it is a gorgeous day. I love driving when it's a, just a beautiful day. Um, I did already go into my first Dollar Tree. It's the Princeton Dollar Tree. And my favorite find is this right here. I have not seen these. I did haul, I think it was a space one the other day. It's a mermaid cake cup and Jack is absolutely going to love these. So let me just say something about um, why I love these so much. Number one, the other ones that you actually use a regular cup and you pour the ingredients in the cup, mix it up and microwave it and all that. Um, usually when they do that, they leave the cup out and it's almost impossible to clean the regular cup. So with these cups, they're just like disposable. And let me hold it up there for you guys. I mean, what little girl would not love this mermaid cake cup. So I was super thrilled to find this. I didn't even know this existed. So that's my favorite find. I know it might be a strange one, but it is. So what I need to do now is put this in my Dollar Tree bag back here, but I need to put my next destination in, which is going to be Cumberland Road in Bluefield. So I've got two destinations in Cumberland Road. One of them's a Goodwill, one of them's a Dollar Tree. 
So yeah, so my next, next destination is going to be a Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get off here and get that stuff in so I can um, get there and, you know, get some stuff. Anyway, hopefully I'll run across a good Dollar Tree. The one here in Princeton has always been like a really yucky Dollar Tree. I've never really, you know, found much of anything here. So I wasn't really expecting much. The other two hopefully will be a little bit better. So fingers crossed on that. So anyway, guys, I'll be back in just a little bit. And I may try to show you if the sun is not full force down on my camera. I may try to show you just a little bit of footage on the way home because it's such a gorgeous drive, such a gorgeous day. Everything is so lush and green and I'm just loving it so much. But anyway, and also whenever I go to Goodwill, I'm going to show you everything that I found in Goodwill. So it'll be like a Goodwill haul as well. So anyway, I'll see you guys after my next Dollar Tree. Okay, guys, just made it to my second Dollar Tree. I'm in Bluefield now. It's not crowded at all here, so I'm really hoping they have some good stuff. But my microphone's not hooked up, so the sound on this little clip may not be the best. But anyway, I'm going to go in here and see what they got, and I'll be back to show you my favorite find, which hopefully will be something fantabulous. Like, I only have one more to go to, uh, Dollar Tree. So anyway, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just got out of my second Dollar Tree. Um, next is Goodwill. I'm going to show you my favorite find in there. And because of one of my subscribers, I um, got this tip. And I'm like, that really makes sense. It's really a cool idea. So um, what I got is this right here. This is a hard candy. Yes, I found several things for the 20K giveaway in there. I spent like $71. And uh, whenever I do the haul, you'll see more things that's going in to the 20K giveaway. Um, right now, we're a little over 17.9. So when I hit 18, don't forget, I'm doing a t-shirt giveaway, one of my extra t-shirts. And yes. So anyway, so I, ha I had hauled one of the Maybelline. Um, it was the foundation with the little sponge on the end. It was in the porcelain color. And like one of my subscribers said that if you find the darker shades, you can still get those because they are absolutely fabulous for contouring. And I'm like, that makes so much sense because of the size of the stick and stuff. You know, it's just, it just makes a whole lot of sense. So basically I found these right here and this is not my color for you know, because I found my color actually in these at another store, but this was not my color. So I got this and two more for the giveaway for um, contouring. I'm going to try it out. I'm not, I don't know how I'm going to do with it, but um, basically it's in the color orange and it's hard candy color correct expert stick new it says corrects dark circles and spots and this is medium to dark skin tone so as you can see this is what color it is so i thought this would be the absolute perfect thing because i've been wanting to contour a little bit i've actually been using a little bit of um <clears throat> what is that hold on let me think bronzer i've been using just a little bit of bronzer that i got like for a birthday thing at sephora um just to see how i like it and i think i like it um i'm not really good at bronzer either so i had to watch a video and all that but contouring is definitely something i want to do so boom baby i found some more good hard candy products like i cannot believe hard candy is still out and about and I also found some flower cosmetics in there, some Maybelline. Um, I found some really cool things up in there. I found some of the Lab 2 products. Like, I found some pretty good things in there. So, about a mile down this road is the Goodwill. So, um, what I'm going to do is turn the camera around and just kind of chat with you guys. Oh, crap. I forgot to hook up my microphone for this. That sucks. Sorry, guys. Let me go ahead and hook it up. I hate to do that. Let me go ahead and hook her up right now. Okay. Stupid. 
go right here. And we'll turn this off and turn it back on so my microphone kicks in. Okay, guys, you should be able to hear me a heck of a lot better right now. I'm going to buckle up, and then we are just going to fly down the road. Well, 35 miles an hour down the road until we get to the Goodwill. I'm starting to get a little hungry. Um, I usually don't eat until about 3 or 4. Uh, I did bring me a Whole30 approved meat stick and a Lara bar, which is also Whole30 approved. So we'll see. I'm trying to hold out. Is this 12 o'clock? Come on. Surely I can hold out. <clears throat> I do have me some water up in here, though. There's a little traffic. I can't wait to go in the Goodwill. I'm excited. I hope I can find some good stuff up in there. <clears throat> I also passed a Dairy Queen. I'm like, yes. Not that I'm stopping, but like if I live down here, man, there ain't nothing better than a blizzard. Although they did me dirty the last time I went, so I haven't been back. I went right before the day before my birthday, I believe, and I know I posted it on Instagram. Um, and I ordered a hot fudge sundae with extra, extra hot fudge. I was going to treat myself for my birthday, and the picture that I posted on Instagram was ridiculous like you couldn't they, they just put a little bit of hot fudge on one side and the other side was absolutely nothing like nothing it's all white all ice cream it was absolutely ridiculous so yeah there's a kfc yes please here's a tudor's biscuit world i'm in bluefield right now so Hopefully my camera don't get too hot on this little mile rod. I'm so sorry about forgetting to hook up my microphone for that little segment. Man. I do want to address something else. Like sometimes whenever I upload a video, for the first few minutes, a lot of people have trouble viewing the video. It says no stream, which is really weird because it's not a, like a live stream anyway. So it's really weird that that does that. Um, so I don't know what's going on there, um, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to post the video and then like let it release like 30 minutes after I post it. That way, hopefully it'll have plenty of time to get you know uploaded correctly because once like 15 minutes passes typically everybody can see it so i know that's frustrating to a lot of people to try to watch the video and um not be able to so anyway um over here is goodwill and yes hopefully i can find some stuff I think I'm going to take my little tiny purse just so I can slip it over my shoulder and have hands free and just put my debit card and my Goodwill card up in there. Oh, Lord. Hold on. I don't know what I'm doing here. La, 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 la. Um, do I want to park all the way over here? No. Let me just park right here. I think this should be good. Okay, guys, so whenever I do come out, I'm going to find a shady spot. I'm going to show you guys my Goodwill haul, so wish me luck, guys. Be back soon. Okay, guys, I just got out of the third Dollar Tree. I'm going to go find some shade really quick, show you what my favorite item was, and then show you what I found at the Goodwill. Trying to figure out what that car's doing. Okay. I think he's letting me go. <laughs> All right, guys. So I think I'm in Virginia, but I'm not 100% sure. Isn't that crazy? I thought it was Bluefield. I, it might have, I think I passed in Virginia and then I had to get on a side road and come back. So I think it might be West Virginia, but it has to be 
right on the border. So I'm going to go try to find a place that's in the, sh oh, there is no shade here. Let me see. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. I don't know how well that is going to do. I mean, it's not like in the sun, but let me think. Is there any place around here? Like, I don't see anywhere that would be. All right. So, I mean, the camera is not in the sun, but it's not in the shade. I mean, it's not. I'm not under shade. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, number one, this right here is my favorite find. It's not for me. It's for my son. And he's going to flip out. I actually got three of these. I'll probably go ahead and give him one today uh, before I haul, you know, the, the actual Dollar Tree haul on these. But this is Sour Punch Bites. This is a huge bag. Like, this is not like the Dollar Tree bags. This is a nine ounce bag. Can you see how big this bag is? You can kind of see the Sour Punch Bites. He absolutely loves Sour Patch or Sour Punch straws. Um, he always gets those when he goes to the store. Um, so, when I saw these, I'm like, what? This is a really big bag. So this is a really excellent deal for $1.25. Um, it says, embrace your punch. Assorted flavors. You have strawberry, green apple, and blue raspberry. So I know he's going to be tripping out with that find. Okay, guys, let me show you what all I found in the Goodwill. Um, I can't remember how much I spent. I feel like their prices are a little bit more than they used to be. I was used to like three something for a shirt or whatevs, but these were, well, some of them were three something. Some of them were two something. So that's okay. I mean, I still got some good clothes, I feel like. Uh, this one was $3.49, and this is from the brand um, Something Fifth. That's all I know. East Fifth, maybe. It looks. And it did not have a size on it, but I really feel like I can wear this. Like I was pulling it to the sides and I definitely feel like I could wear it. I love to wear leopard print. I just like every time I wear leopard print, I really like the look. So I tried to find me a couple leopard print things. So this one is nice. I'll be able to wear it in the summer. It's nice and cool and lightweight. It has like this ruffle around the uh, top and going down the front. And the bottom is just kind of like swaggy out there. I think it's really pretty. I really think I'll be able to wear it. It feels very like st stretchy, as you can see. So I don't know why it doesn't have a price or a, a size in it. It could be down the sides. Let me look and see if I... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see a tag. I see a tag. Does it say? It doesn't say. Um, it's 100% polyester. I think that's what that says. Yeah, it doesn't say. But anyway, I think somebody cut it out because half of the 5th Avenue 5th or whatever that is, is missing. But of course, somebody parked down here. Okay, guys, I'm going to move the car. Hold on one second. I'm just going to have to move just since I'm filming and stuff. So I'm just going to move right on over here. Just... I hate to be that way, but like they pulled up like right beside of me um, and I, um, I get a little embarrassed-ish. So, okay. So if they move again and pull beside of me, I'm probably going to film the rest when I get home. Okay, guys. So the second thing I found is this right here and this was $4.29. So that's the other prices that I was finding. Um, $4.29. So... Hold on a minute. It's a long sleeve. I really like the sleeves. It's very sheer. So I'll have to wear like uh, maybe a, a tank top underneath. But I love the way the sleeves do at the end here. Um, if you can see, like they kind of flare out. Oh, do I have a button miss? I think they, no, I don't think, feel like I have a button missing. I feel like they might do something fancy, but I don't know like what kind of fancy. I'll have to figure this out. If I need to sew a button on, no big deal. Let me look at the other sleeve. No buttons here either. So I don't really know because it does have like two buttonholes on each side here, but also two buttonholes on the other side. So if you know, I mean, I don't think, 
that cufflinks would be a thing, right? I don't know. But anyway, this is just a long leopard print sheer top with long sleeves. It'll probably be a fall time shirt, but I love this leopard print. So, yes. And then I found a nice cold shoulder, sort of like this. I love this shirt. I actually feel like this is a Shein shirt. But I think I found this shirt at a Goodwill and I'm always looking for stuff like this because like this is one of my favorite shirts and I found this shirt which I feel like is kind of close. This is the brand Attention and this is an extra large and I love all the colors and it's almost like a, um, I'm not going to say um, a cheetah print or a leopard print, but it is like a different like, okay. So here's how it goes, like up on the shoulders and then, you know, it's, it's a cold shoulder top, but I love all of the colors. I know I can wear that. It's an extra large, but I know I can wear it because um, that's normally my size now. So hopefully that'll change to a large soon. Okay. And then this right here, definitely for fall and winter, but I could not pass this up. And this is actually a large so I felt like I could wear it now, but I'm hoping for the fall and winter to be down to a large for sure. This is from the brand Modern something. This is what I need Fifi for, to read my stuff. But she was busy today, but this is a tie-dyed shirt and it says indoorsy. So I love that. Like I can be indoorsy. Definitely. I love the colors of the tie-dyed. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I am just really loving this shirt. Long sleeved, very, very soft. And I just feel like um, it was a 429 shirt, but I feel like this was absolutely 100% worth 429. I am going to be wearing the crap out of this shirt. I know. I know. I know. And then another, um, oh, let me just show you this. I don't know about this one. Like I probably should have tried it on. This was a $3.49 one. Um, I'm just hoping I can wear it is the thing. I think it's a, is it a large or an X? I think it's an extra large, but let me get it straightened out here. It's from Deb and we used to have a Deb um, up in our mall close by and then they closed down several several years ago i don't know if deb is even still in business but i used to absolutely love deb stores absolutely so this shirt is an extra large which is a good thing and th th this is definitely something i can wear this summer it um i already told you it was a 349 so the colors are this right here it kind of has a built-in white tank top underneath and so yeah, but what's cute about it is it has like this built in belt, which I think would have like a slimming effect, especially like if you had jeans on, I think this would look really cute with my jeans that are like ripped all the way down. I just think this would look really, really cute with that. So I don't know. It, it looks a little slim to me. Um, I was trying to feel like like whenever you're putting a shirt on and you put your arms in, like if you stretch, stretch it, you can kind of tell if you're going to be able to wear it or not. I feel like it's right on the, the verge. Like, I feel like it's going to fit though. Um, but I'm, I just love the colors to it and I love the belt. So I like that accent. And then I found another super warm for the fall and winter. I just think this is a really, really pretty, shirt this is a um extra large this is a u.s apparel shirt i don't know if that's an expensive shirt to me it looks like an expensive brand um just the way that it's made and stuff let me get it lined out here so it is like a hoodie and it says san antonio texas on it which is really cool so I love the colors. It just has like this, the material is like nothing that I've ever seen. Honestly, I don't even know. It's, it's going to be very, very warm. It has the hood on it. And I love the San Antonio, Texas thing on the bottom. It's a little frayed, which, you know, a lot of stuff comes like that nowadays. And then it has like this pocket thing in the front. I just absolutely love the shirt. So the, when the fall time comes and the cold weather, I am going to be ready 
with some nice warm things. And then I found this shirt, which I debated about because I'm like, is this really me anymore? I don't know. I feel like my taste has changed in clothes. Like, I don't know. I, I went through this. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Let me just show you guys. I love the print on this. I love the colors involved. This is a two-piece set, and I think it was for... Yeah, this was one of the 429 piece uh, sets, but this is a two piece set and you have this right here, which you have some paisley on here and the colors, the pink and purple together, I really, really like and it's so flowy and it's so silky. I mean, this is like something you would sleep in, like it's so comfy and silky. So, and then over top of this, first of all, what size is it? I think this is a 2X. It's from Kato, which I know is a good brand. It's a size 1820. So that's perfect for me. And then to go along with that is this cover, like, um, like a cover, which is gorgeous. I mean, hold on. Let me, it's like, um, it's like almost a scarf. Let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. Let me figure it out first. I think that it goes like this. You put it over and then, you know, you have the uh, tank top underneath and this is just like a flowy, this gorgeous, flowy, fun, like a scarf. Um, but I love these two pieces together and yeah, I think it is me. I think it's gorgeous. I just love this material. It feels fantastic. And then I found two pairs of jeans, which I'm really hoping they fit. That look just like my cousin, which I'm, no, it probably wasn't. Um, I'm really hoping they fit. So the first pair is this one here. I love, let me just say as an older 54 year old. I love jeans that don't have buttons. Okay. I've just realized that finding stuff at the dollar at the, you know, where, uh, Goodwill. Uh, I'm going to let my phone cool down for one second and I'll be right back. Okay. That's better. Um, so yes, finding some things at the Goodwill, like jeans that don't button, but just have like an elastic waist to them. Yes, please. I love them. Um, so these, the jeans were six sixty nine. So I really hope that they fit six sixty nine for a pair of jeans is still not bad. Um, so I'm really hoping that they fit. So these jeans, number one are from old Navy. So that's a, that's a good brand, you know, um, it says these are rock star jeans and the size says 18 regular. So 18 is typically what size I get 18 bottoms, extra large tops. Um, most of the time. So these are just like the stretchy jeans. I'm really, really loving them. They are like a skinny jean. I can't wait to wear these. Like I know these are going to fit me like a glove and they're going to be so comfortable. I love a long jean. These are regular, so they're not going to be super, super long, but like in the fall and winter, I love to wear like my short boots with like my leg warmer sticking out the top. And like, I think these are going to be perfect for that. And then my other pair of jeans that I found, which I don't think I could find a size on them, but I kind of held them up to the other ones and it looked like that they would fit. So these are another, um, oh no, these do have a button. Do they work though? Okay. These have a button and a zipper, which I was not sure of. Um, so these are called the skinny casual designs push up. Now, is that going to push up my booty? Like, I'm really hoping so. Like, give me a push up on my booty. Just give me one. Um, so there's what it looks like. They look like definitely name brand jeans. If you guys know anything about this brand, let me know because I have no clue. And like I said, I could not find a size in here, um, but I did hold them up to the other ones. They look pretty much, let me let me see here. They looked pretty much like they might even be a little bit bigger. So I wasn't sure on whether to get them or not. 
So if I hold that end there, yeah, I feel like the darker ones are just a tad bigger. So they could possibly be 20s or just some kind of weird size. Um, but they are, can you see how the front looks? Uh, they're dark, dark blue. And I really love these. So I'm hoping that they give me a push up, baby. Push that booty up, right? Okay, guys. So... That is all of my clothes. Um, I'm getting ready to head back to Beckley. Before I do though, I'm definitely gonna get me a little snack. Um, I brought a couple of things. It's 2.22. Um, yeah, so on the way home, I'm just gonna eat this. This is a turkey, lightly peppered turkey stick. And right here it says, Whole30 approved. So I know I can have this. Um, so far, Whole30 is going fantastic for me. I haven't weighed myself and I'm not going to weigh myself for 30 days. I weighed myself like the morning of. I'm not weighing myself for 30 days. Um, I'm probably not going to be putting this over on the other channel. I'm just going to tell you guys um, as I go. My husband thought I, could, I should film like every single day and then save them up. And if I did good, I could post all that. But it's just so much trouble trying to keep up with two channels. I just can hardly do it. But last night, I just want to say, if you saw my pictures on Instagram or Facebook, I had the best salad I've ever had in my life. That was Whole30. Lettuce on the bottom. I had mandarin oranges that were packed in water. There was sliced almonds, sesame seeds, unsweetened coconut, green onions, chicken. Was that it? And then there was like this homemade dressing that you made with ginger, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, uh, not balsamic, um, apple cider vinegar, sesame oil, garlic. It was the best salad. And I might redo it tonight. Yes, because um, it was the best salad I've ever ate. Like, I loved it so much. So anyway, um, so far, so good on that. This is day four of Whole30, and so far, so good. But anyway, I'm going to eat this bad boy. I'm going to cram all my clothes back in this bag. I don't think I'm going to be able to do any, like, videoing while I'm driving, um, just because... Um, like the heat, you know, the heat and my, my phone likes to overheat an awful lot. So I'm just, okay. I was trying to make sure my, my, my microphone hadn't went dead, but anyway, let me know what your favorite piece of clothing that I found at Goodwill was. Um, I, I don't even know if I can pick a favorite. Like I love them all. I can't wait to try them on and stuff. I know a lot of people try them on in the store, but I just don't like to do that. Even if I go to Walmart, I don't like to try on stuff. Like I hate to do that. So I'm hoping everything fits, but if it does, you'll be seeing me in them. Um, anyway, guys, I think I will, I don't know if I'll be back or not. I will try to be back just to do a little outro, say bye-bye and all that fun stuff. I may show you my salad, um, just like when it's done. Um, yeah, just if, I don't know if you're interested or not, but like, I'm just saying the best salad I've ever had in my entire life. It was phenomenal. So anyway, guys, just want to say thank y'all for watching and until next time. Uh, until the next time I come on here, that is, I'm trying to end the whole video. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end my vlog for the day. I am going to have that salad again. If you want to see a picture of it, you can check it out on Instagram. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and get this vlog saved and up so you guys can watch it. Um, but anyway, I'll be back tomorrow with a Dollar Tree haul, so join me then. Um, we're doing good. We're getting close to that 18K, so make sure you're subscribed so you can get a chance to win one of the extra t-shirts. Hashtag extra. That'll probably be how to enter. Not now, though. I'll, I will do a video telling you guys what to do, when to do it, and everything once we hit 18K. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed riding along with me today. It was a blast. Gorgeous day, and I did try on my Goodwill clothes, and everything fit except for that one shirt with the belt attached that I said I'm not sure about. Yeah, that one did not fit. So anyway, um, it is what it is. I may hold on to it, see if I lose some more weight or whatever, but I don't know. But anyway, um, thank you guys for riding along, and until next time, bye!